The next thing I want to show you is if we're trying to name this or even just give the formula, here's my first one on top here. Um, I wanted to identify some information that I see right away. So I know that it's a hydrocarbon. There's only carbons and hydrogens in here. And this is really important. I see a double bond. Right away seeing that double bond, I know that I have an alkene because in order to be an alkene, you need a double bond. So I know this is an alkene. And my next step really is to just count the number of carbons. So if you take a look, I have one, two, three, four, five carbons. I do get into this habit of circling the longest carbon chain. We only have that right now. So there are five carbons. When I go to table P, I found that five carbons has the prefix pent. And because we already talked about that double bond, it's going to end with ene. This is pentene. If I want the formula, I could either use the formula from table Q or I could simply count one, two, three, four, five carbon. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. C5H10 does match the alkene formula. If I look down on the bottom one here, the first thing I notice is, yes, I see a chain of carbons, but that triple bond is important. So when I see a triple bond, I know that we're going to end with YNE. It's an alkyne. Now, if I just count, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven carbons. Seven carbons, according to table P, has the prefix hept. So this guy's name is heptine. If I wanted to check his formula, I could either plug into this formula, right, from table Q, or I could simply count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, C7, H, count on my ages, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, C7, H, 12. 